friendly confines Wrigley Field. We've got Major League Baseball on a Tuesday night. It's the San Diego Padres and the Chicago Cubs. Joined by my partner Chris Singleton, I'm John Chomby. And seeing the big bat in the lineup so far this year, Jerickson Profar leads the team at OPS, so he's the guy that looks to slug and basically make things happen for them offensively. Just a machine in terms of production at the plate. He'll take his walks, he'll barrel up the baseball, he'll hit the ball in the gaps, he'll hit the ball over the fence. So talk about a guy going good. That's him right now, and he's a bat that you want to stay away from if you're the pitcher. First pitch coming your way next. Just about ready to go. And our pitcher in this game, Jamison Tyon. Chris, how about a scouting report? Well, this guy's just been filthy out there on the mound. Hitters batting under 200 against him, and they're just having a hard time squaring up anything, doing any type of damage. The only way he hurts himself is if he gives up the free passes and surrenders a rare home run. But outside of that, it's going to be a tough job for the opposing lineup today. Now it's the DH, Luis Arias. And there's a foul ball. Left-hand hitter waits. Slap the other way, foul. In the air, right field. Tuckman in position and out number one on the grab. As we take a look at the Padres lineup. And the batter will be Fernando Tatis Jr. And the first wow. pitch misses for ball one. They'll say this is a guy that grew up in big league clubhouses and it's something that you see throughout the game sons whose fathers also played the majors and he deals yeah all and right. beyond that all the other one on one men in those clubhouses that sort of take you under their wing as a son or a nephew and show you some of the tricks of the trade it's just invaluable that type of experience Kicks and deals. Fights that one away. Still one and two. The wide to kick the pitch. Right through there. Got it. Two away. Well, that curveball had some pretty good break to it. As you can see, the hitter just locked up a little bit. Thought it was a great pitch to hit, but sometimes you're looking for something else and you can't pull the trigger. Now at the One plate, out. Jake Cronenworth. The pitch. High fly ball near the pole. That one is foul. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. In the air, left field. Hat brings it in for the third out. On to the bottom of the first. No score. Back here at Wrigley Field. And on the mound in this one, Michael King. And Singy, we were talking earlier about how he's doing a great job navigating through tough spots. I've just been so impressed with when it seems like there's more pressure, he's more calm and settles in. He's done an incredible job with runners in scoring position. Most guys they get a little tight, they start to aim the baseball, but for some reason, he gets looser, the ball comes out of his hand with more life, and he's able to wiggle off the hook of you know tough situations and get his team back in the dugout. And a pitch. Nico Horner no, missed, stands in here, takes ball one low.
Righty delivers. Just oh. missed. Bounce to third. Machado throws to first in time. One up, one down. Here's a look at the Cubs lineup. Here's Mike Tockman. Hauls it in, and there's two away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Ian Happ up to hit. That one a oh. little bit high. Ball one. To the right side. Cronenworth throws on to first. And the Cubs go one, two, three. So nothing on the scoreboard through one. We're back on the show from Wrigley in a few. Set for the start of the inning. Here's Manny Machado. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy is at the top of the list. Stud. When you look at players like this, you play that hot corner. Got to be pretty courageous over there with the way balls come off the bat. That's the kind of guy that every year you expect him to be in the all-star game and have a gold glove, if not a platinum glove. Of the pitch. On the ground. And foul ball. So, what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Well, Boog, one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. Kicks and fires. Ah! Connect on the curveball struck him out. Well, that's a curveball that people like to describe as a hammer or Uncle Charlie, and you can see why. It's not a looping slow curve. He throws it hard, and it gets plenty of bite on the end. Now batting jerks and Profar. Up the middle. A dive. Nice stop. Over the first. Pretty nice play there. Well, this is obviously a tremendous play, but for me, it starts with a well-broken in glove. They have the confidence to go down, knowing that ball's going to be right in the pocket, so you've got a clean transfer. Pop back up to the feet and fire across the diamond. Outstanding job. It's Xander Bogarts now. There's the strike. Yeah. And that clips the inside corner. Ground ball, left side, wisdom. Not in time, and he reaches safely. With two outs, you just want to find a way to keep the line moving for the next guy. So an infield single right there does the job. Nicely done just putting it in play and getting down to first to keep this inning alive. You never know what might come next as a result. On the north side of Chicago, John Chambi and Chris Singleton. Here's the center fielder, Jackson Merrill. Hey. Tyon checks over to first, and he's back. Oh. 
That oh. one's in there on one. Just oh. off the inside edge. One and one. With the go ahead run at first, here at the top of the second. Next Ball. offering is downstairs. Two and one. Two outs. Oh. Three, two, two Not out, four. runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. Luis Campusano to bat next. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. Good battle here. About to be the eighth pitch of the at bat. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. And here it comes. So now two on and two outs. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. And here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. Bounding ball here, rolls foul. Oh, he gloves it. Padres leave a pair. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. So now here's the D.H. Christopher Morrell. The designated hitter. Christopher Morrell. Here comes a pitch. Swing and a miss. 0-1. Oh 0-1. Oh And that gets the inside corner for a strike. Oh and two. The pitch. Not one, close two. with that one. And yeah, the count one and two. Up the middle, Kim. Now the throw to first on the run. Yeah. Leadoff man retired here in the second. The first baseman, Michael Bush. So up next, Michael Bush. Good power, not great in the OBP department. Yeah. And that one clips the corner. Right-hander kicks, deals. Swing it a foul straight back. One down, base is empty. Nope, that's outside. Ball. Still tied at zero. Last of the third. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. Beat him inside on that last pitch, and when you look back at the pitch sequence on that strikeout, it's pretty interesting. Away, in, away, and then back in again. Really commanded both sides of the plate right there, and that makes it pretty tough to get comfortable in the box.
Dansby Swanson stands in. And the One first and pitch out. misses in the dirt. Two down, nobody on. And it's fouled away. And a pitch. Swing and a miss. It's a ball and two strikes. One, two, the count. Bounced up the middle. Loves it on the dive. Throws from his knees. They get the out, and that'll do it. Making it look easy at the keystone position. Definitely worth another look. He'll get some high fives when he gets into the dugout. Back here at the friendly confines. And the batter now, Hassan Kim. Taya back to work. The pitch. And a weak ground ball to the left side. In time to Bush. Leadoff hitter gone in the third. The batter, number three. Designated hitter. Luis Arise stands Arise. in. He's 0 for 1. One down, base is empty. And yeah, that oh. skips in the dirt. And the righty deals. Fouls it off, still one and two. And yeah, the right-hander deals. Two and two. Well, this is a guy that can be frustrating for pitchers because he fouls off so many pitches and grinds out the at-bat. I'm sure there's some times where a pitcher would rather just give up a first-pitch single than have to waste six Ball. or seven pitches on one hitter. We got a full count. And a 3-2. Battling here as he fouls it away. And a pitch. Swing and a miss struck him out. I'm not sure that was the exact location the pitcher wanted, but it worked. He got the swing and miss, and I'm sure a bit of sigh of relief after seeing that one go through the zone. Fernando Tatis Jr. to hit here. That one's in there. Strike one. Two down, nobody on. We're here in the top half of inning number three. And a ground ball to first. He handles it himself. Padres go down one, two, three. Nothing doing there for the Friars. And we're still knotted at zero. Set for the bottom of the third, down the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. He's a big, strong guy, can untie this game with one swing. The pitch. Foul back our way, and that's out of play. The 0-1. Liner, base hit. Man aboard on the leadoff single. Pete Crow Armstrong, the next Cub to hit. Good defender. He's been inconsistent offensively. 
Leadoff man is on. You got to be looking for the bunt here. Trying to get him into scoring position. That yeah. one finds the zone. Strike one. There's yeah. a strike. Downstairs and outside. One ball, two strikes. Not two, even two. close there. And the count's even at two. At the belt and fires. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. And now it's Miguel Amaya. Right through there for a strike. No balls, one strike. You will one. Ball That's one the ball. there. One one. That one no not one. close. Now two balls and a strike. Breaking <laughs> ball in there for a strike. Two two. One away, tie game, go ahead, run, stands at first. Here in the last half of the third. And a swing and a miss. And there's two away. Well, interesting. He's looking very comfortable out of the stretch after okay. giving up the leadoff okay. single. Back-to-back -back strikeouts, so they haven't been able to move that runner up, get him in the scoring position, and try to have a better chance of scoring. I tell you, good job so far on the mound. He just needs one more out. Back to the leadoff spot in the Cubs lineup. Here's Nico Horner. First time up, he grounded to third. Chris, baseball today, so many strikeouts, and they are available to pitchers. But this is a guy that puts the bat on the ball and is kind of different from the players that we see day in, day out. And there's a the ball. Yeah, his swing is so good. Ball, it's no in the strike. zone a long time. He gets the barrel to it a lot, and that produces more base hits. Downstairs. Singing one of the things that's interesting is that guys really don't worry about swing and miss from an offensive standpoint anymore. So when you see somebody who contacts the ball no, like ball. this, do you think of that as plus Three value? One. Absolutely. If he's doing damage now, if he's rolling over and, and grounding out, then it's a different story. But yeah, if he can put the ball in the gaps or over the fence, 100%. Two outs. The right hander gives up the two out walk. Well, interesting. He went with the off speed and walked the hitter. Man, you got to challenge the guy with the fastball. So up now for Chicago, Mike Tockman. He's over one. No, that's it.
right into the plate. And that's Good outside. Boy. First and second, two down. And he deals. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with the three-hole hitter coming up if he's right. Two on, two outs. To third. Handled by Machado. Inning over. Cubs strand a couple. And we are still scoreless. Here at Wrigley Field, start of the fourth. And here's the first baseman, Jake Cronenworth. As he turns on the rubber, and with that good live arm delivers. High fly ball down the left field line. And it stays fair. Hap fires it in, and the potential go-ahead run stops at second base. Now, no waiting around right there. He was ready to swing it on the first pitch. Runner in scoring position now, and a good opportunity to push across the first run of the ball game. Here's Manny Machado now. Struck out swinging his first time. And there's a strike on the outside corner. Man at second. And the curve drops in for a strike. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. Ball. Wouldn't two chase two. that time. Go ahead, run in scoring position. Nobody out. Top half of inning number four. No, that missed. That's a really good take, especially with two strikes. Spoils a two strike pitch, and he'll see another. Definitely got the hitter conscious of the pitch inside. Really think the outer half is open. Kicks and deals. Fouled off again. And it remains three and two. Just missed. If he's able to connect on that, look out. Goes down looking. Frustrating end to the at bat for the hitter, and I'm sure that's going to sit on him for a little while. You want to be ready to hit the fastball. Sometimes you can overthink things, and I think that was the case right there. And here is Jerickson Profar. Grounded out his first time. Not wow. close with that one, and it's 1-0. Runner at second here, one gone. That's outside. Oh, that's outside. And the count is 2-0. Oh.
The pitch. Left center base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. He scores and they have the lead. One nothing. Well, he gets it done in a big spot to get the run across. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the ball straight to it. That's great work right there. Here's Xander Bogarts. Reached on an infield single his first time. Here's the pitch. Runner goes. On the ground, right side. And that one finds its way through. And they'll have runners at the corners after a one-out single. Jackson Merrill the next up for the Padres Merrill having a lot more success on the road this season Over 80% of his first pitches are strikes. You're doing that, you could have a really good day out there in the mound. That missed. That's the ball. And that's in the dirt. It's a big opportunity right here, but I love the way he's slowing the game down. He's shrinking his zone, making sure he gets the pitch that he wants to hit. A little out front there as his wings flew it. Two balls, two strikes. Left hand hitter waits. Now this is in the air down the line. Makes his way towards it. Topkin makes the play. Now a long throw to first. Tries to get back and save. Here's the catcher, Luis Campusano. 0 for 1 so far. That clips the corner. ripped into the outfield no trouble here puts it away for the out and that's the third out so one run in the inning on this base hit and the home team down a run back on the show ready to go, ready to go. bottom Four four. Back. here's the left fielder no left in half <laughs> and a pitch into the outfield base hit and the tying run is on with a leadoff single well that started and ended pretty quickly no messing around right there there's nothing cheap about the way he got that one through the infield that was ripped caught out in front and didn't get under it like he would have liked but definitely put a good swing on it. no outs runner at first christopher morell the next cup to hit That one finds the corner. It's 0-1. With the go-ahead run at the plate, we're here in the bottom of the fourth. One ball, one strike. This one in the dirt. Throw to second, not in time, he's there easily. That's a wild pitch, and the tying run moves into scoring position. Definitely trying to work down and get that double play ball, but it got away enough to erase any chance of that. Good job of moving up into scoring position. Now a hit could make that wild pitch really sting. And fouled off. Swing and a ground ball out to short. Kim with the throw to first. One out in the bottom of the fourth. 
That play won't be trending on social media later on, but it's still important to execute it to perfection. This game is a lot harder than it looks, partner. And now the first baseman, Michael Bush. 0 for 1, he struck out swinging last time. And that one fouled off. One out and a runner at second. So the tying run at second. The pitch. One and two. Squirts away a little bit. Tag C. He's in the third of the wild pitch. Well, he's got nobody to blame but himself. With one out, a runner on third can come home all sorts of ways now. That's why, as a pitcher, you have to execute pitches even better when they're runners on base. Left-hand batter waits. No, and down. another ball. Well, he's desperately looking for that swing and miss. He's going to have to just change speeds a little bit, try to move it around, create just a little bit of illusion at the end. And it's filled up. Dansby Swanson waiting to hit for the Cubs. And here it comes. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Kicks and fires. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Payoff pitch. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. When you go that deep into a bat, the hitter usually comes out on top. So digging in, Dansby Swanson. 0 for 1, he grounded out in his first at bat. The shortstop takes the ball. Two on, one out. In the dirt. To second, but way too late. Safe there. And now, a single might score two. Second and third here, one away. In there at the knees, now two and one. Lifted in the air, right field. And Swanson is set down. Runners tagging from second and third. He'll score on the sack fly. It's 1-1. One, one. There you go. Nice little RBI there. It's a great at bat. Got the job done. Here's the third baseman, Patrick Wisdom. Yeah, he's already singled in this game. Two outs. Fall off foul. And a pitch. Sneaks through base hit. Runner from third into score. And a 2-1 ball game now.
Such great concentration. Everybody on their feet, knowing that you can come through with a good swing. And there he doesn't try to do too much. And next for the Cubs, Pete Crow Armstrong. Foul ball. That gets down for a hit. Throw stops the lead runner at second. Two on and two out. Back-to-back -back base hits. Hooked around that pitch on the outside, but he was still able to square it up pretty nicely. And that takes quick, strong wrist to pull that off. And now the catcher comes up to him. Miguel Lamaya. He was a strikeout victim his first time. On the corner for a strike. And it's 0-1. 0-1. pitch and that one fouled off two outs a couple of base runners at first and second and ball one swing and a miss and that is that but two runs for him and they jump ahead we played four. It's the Cubs two and the Padres one. And we're back. Top five, John Shabby with Chris Singleton. Leading and leading it off, Ha Sung Kim. The shortstop, ha Sung Kim. And the right hander back to work. There's yeah. the strike. Movement in the Cubs bullpen. Advert Alzala, the anchor of the staff, is getting ready to close this one out. And he grounds one back up the middle. Horner over to first. And the leadoff man set down in their half of the fifth. That's a huge defensive play in the late stages of the game. It might not be the most challenging we've seen today, but it needed to be made. That's helping your team. All right. Up for the third time here. Watches that one miss. Close pitch there, and he's kind of wondering where it missed, you know. Getting a feel for each umpire's strike zone is something that pitchers and hitters really have to think about and work on from game to game and sometimes from a bat to a bat. And another ball. Two and out. And there's a hit. And that puts the tying run on base. Well, that was one of those high percentage advantage counts where batting averages are just so much higher. Everything was on time and fluid in that swing. Got a pitch you could get the barrel on and lined it into center for the knock. Those always feel good. So, man, aboard one down, and it's Tatis at the plate. This guy is one of the best athletes in the sport. Oh, great stop from his backside over to Swanson. He turns it to first, not in time. Great effort there. Awesome job of getting to that baseball. Really good dive there. Doesn't have time to get up to his feet, so he throws from the seat of his pants, and he throws on the money. Last chance for the Padres. Jake Cronenworth, the next up for the Padres. First offering. Runner goes. Pitch in for a strike. Safe at second, and he easily steals the bag. You know, nights like this when it seems harder to score, I like the call to put him in motion and try to steal the base. Ball's not carrying, no home run so far, so trying to manufacture some offense like this may be the way to go. Ah! 
They're down to their final strike. The Padres down to their final strike. One, two. Not even close there. Now one and two. Left field. And it gets by him. Automatic double now as it hops the wall in foul ground. As a run scores on the play. Manny Machado up to the plate. Who's 0 for 2 with a pair of strikeouts. Sliced hard but foul. Two down, go ahead, run in scoring position. And we're at the top of the fifth. Swung on, belted. That one carrying. And it's into the bleachers. Out of here. That should get the dugout going. And they lead it. It's 4-2. You're not going to be able to wipe the smile off his face for a while, Boog. He just changed the game. When you're working with this kind of velocity, so critical that you move the ball around, work quickly, and make sure that you keep that hitter off balance. Clearly not fooled by the location or the velocity. He was all over that fastball. Profar oh, in the box now as he leaves that one up high. The wide to kick the pitch. Wouldn't That's chase that time. Two and out. Into center. Crow Armstrong should have it. Brings it in. And that is that. Manny Machado with the blast for the Padres. It's now 4-2. Major League Baseball is on the show. Welcome back, and here comes the closer, Robert Suarez. He last pitched two days ago. And now, Nico Horner. He's kind of an outlier, especially when guys are consciously sacrificing contact to deliver power. The pitch. And that's down and away. The 1 1. Foul ball there. Early in the count, you have to be real careful because of that power, but then. If this hitter gets a strike or two on him, he's still very comfortable. And because he has the ability to get the barrel to the baseball, he's a threat deep into the count as well. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it great, it's still hit hard enough to dunk something in like that in front of the center fielder. Fouled off. He was late. Tying run at the plate. Horner on the go. Him looking for the strikeout. Ball strike three and a fastball up in the zone. Now the left fielder in half. One for two.
Turner on the go. Pitch in for a strike. Go to second. Ow! Well, I really didn't expect him to try to steal second base because he had a very standard lead at best. If you're going to try to get there safely, you've got to get more on that lead. You've got to get a better jump. That was the difference between being safe and out. Two down, nobody on. And that one fouled off. This could end it. That one, one not close. Three. And it's one and two. And another two and ball. Two. Got him. And that is the ball game. When you win five in a row, the confidence just goes to another level. And you start to gain this momentum. And you think that you're never going to lose a game again because things are clicking up and down the lineup. Pitchers are pitching. The team is making the plays defensively. This is the kind of feeling. It's not going to last all season long, but you want to ride it as long as you possibly can. Perhaps push it up to double digits. And your final 4-2. For Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show, I'm John Chambi. Thanks for joining us.